this is more like it. Just come out from under this log. This is more like what I'm doing. Oh. That is it. There's a real adult size snouted cobra. Are you a tame one, a calm one, hey? Oh, yes. Well, that's a beautiful hood. Now, that's more like it. That's more like an adult size. He's probably close to two meters. Hey, behave yourself. There we go. Look at that. Come on. That's a beautiful snake. He's very sure of himself. Sure of his size and his strength and his venom power. He wants to move away, but he's still watching me. This is what I want to photograph. And just get him to relax. But see how he's not bad-tempered like the little one? Come look at me. I'll slowly move around and you can get a good look at his hood. Look at that hood. Look at that hood. Isn't he beautiful? It's all a warning. If this snake was now faced by a mongoose, he'd probably be in trouble. Because a mongoose is able to wait for that strike to come low. Ow! Oh, I've been bitten, guys. I've been bitten. For sake, guys. Come here, quickly. Quickly go into the car. I want the crate bandage. Open it. Yeah. Open it real tight. Yeah. Pull it tight. Somebody watching that cobra? Oh, God, there mustn't be venom in the vein. Anti-venom was on hand, and the local hospital had been forewarned. But it was still a 40-minute drive away. If the venom went untreated, I could be dead in half that time. Immediately I was alerted to the fact that a vein had been penetrated. That is your most frightening scenario because if venom entered directly into a vein, I could be dead within 10 minutes. However, I saw that it was a cut. It wasn't an actual injection. We had, the fang had cut my finger. And it had been sliced the vein. So in, in, in that way, the vein actually helped to flush out any venom that might have been lying around. It pumped it out. And then applying suction later with a little sucking machine. So all in all, uh, somebody's looking after me. Okay. It will never happen again. Never again. This is it. I'm getting too old for this. Nevertheless, just two short hours later, I was back out in the field. Well, it's been a traumatic day. I don't need all of that bandage, but I came to get a photograph and I intend to get it. That cobra is so big, he's so fantastic. I've got my camera, I'm back, and I'm going to get this damn shot. Snakes don't move very much during the heat of the day. I knew that cobra would be pretty much where I left it. Okay, I'm going to take him into open ground for a better chance of getting a photograph. That's a better chance. If I can just get him to make a hood for one more time. Come on. Got to stand still for the photograph. Otherwise. Okay. Okay, I'm going to try and get an action strike as he lunges at me. That's the best I've got because he doesn't want to keep still. There we go. Come, come, come. There we go. Okay, I've shot a whole lot of shots, hoping that it's just catching him and more or less center, center screen. He's a dangerous boy, but he is fantastic. He's taken a lot of nonsense from me today. That's nice. That's nice. Good. Good. One more. Good.